of uh, instructional materials to our faculty to make sure that they have all of the, the guidance and the knowledge uh, to make their online experience uh, the best it can be. And what we just did a couple weeks ago was uh, create this instructional design resources course. This houses all of our guides that we create in-house uh, for the faculty that covers a wide range of different topics. Uh, we start them off here with a Start Here page, uh, just a little introduction to the course, and then the Blackboard support information. Over here to the left in the course menu, there's three different modules. Uh, the first module has Blackboard guides and Grade Center guides. You can go into this Grade Center folder. So this is what's one uh, of the guides that we provide to them, uh, learning how to color code their Grade Center uh, for retention purposes, uh, showing students or showing the faculty which students uh, are, are doing well and which students are not, and they have the ability to color code um, in accordance to uh, who's doing well and who's doing uh, who's not doing well. Uh, great submission, submitting all of their grades uh, through Blackboard. This also includes uh, on-campus courses as well. All on-campus courses get a Blackboard shell so they can submit their grades uh, through Blackboard in addition to the fully online courses. Uh, changing the grading schema, we walk them through that process. And then lastly, accessing the Grade Center. In Module 2, we have the Blackboard Collaborate and we have Kaltura. Uh, Blackboard Collaborate is our virtual office hours tool. And we show uh, the faculty how to get started with it and then how to uh, get a captioner and a viewer as well. And the other one, which is Kaltura, which is our video repository, uh, we show them how to embed Kaltura Media and Blackboard. And keep in mind that these handouts, uh, this one in particular, um, works for the students as well. So this one is for the faculty. And then this Kaltura student upload shows the students how to uh, upload their, their videos as well. Uh, Kaltura Capture Space, which is the software that the, the students and the faculty can use uh, to upload their, their videos through My Media. Uh, and then there's an interactive video quiz. Um, we're, we're working on creating a, a brand new um, guide for this one. We're constantly uh, building upon our guides. Right now we have 10 in the queue. Uh, so we wanted to create a course uh, that the faculty can access 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. Uh, we understand at those times uh, faculty are not able to reach us. So we wanted to create a course where it can be accessed at any point in time, uh, at any point of the day. And uh, like I said before, we are constantly creating new ones. We have a student graphic designer in our office that helps us out with the graphics. Um, and then we, uh, us instructional designers, uh, type up the, uh, the, the directions and the organization that it, that it needs to go through. Uh, we're gonna also be working on <clears throat> this version of our uh, course uh, to be in the version of an ebook. Uh, so that is uh, another way we can uh, expand upon getting our guides out because at the, at the beginning, our guides were basically used in a case-by-case uh, -case basis uh, via email or phone call when the faculty would express uh, the need for help. Uh, so we would always keep our guides um, uh, in our folder. We would not, we weren't able to uh, share them out with all the faculty. Whereas with having this course, we were able to enroll every single faculty on campus, uh, regardless of their full-time or adjunct, and they can access all of these guides. And that is the Instructional Designs Resources course uh, that houses all of our uh, materials that we uh, share with the faculty.